Hello everyone and welcome back to Top Factology. Today we're going to pay a visit to the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France using Google Earth. Let's do it. The Eiffel Tower was officially opened on the 31st of March 1889, which is about 130 years ago, and was built by Gustav Eiffel's engineering company and designed by its two senior engineers, Maurice Kirklin and Emile Nogier. It was meant originally for Barcelona, but Spain rejected the project, which was proved to be a costly mistake missing out on being the home of this iconic landmark which is now worth over 400 billion euros. Including antennas, the Eiffel Tower is 324 meters in height and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for 41 years before being surpassed by the Chrysler Building in New York in 1930. The tower is made of iron and weighs about 10,000 tons, shares its nickname the Iron Lady with Margaret Thatcher. It was initially built as an entrance to the 1889's World Fair to celebrate the 100 years of the French Revolution and it only had a permit to stand for 20 years. It was to be dismantled in 1909 but it proved a great radio antenna and it was allowed to remain. The tower has three levels for visitors, with restaurants on the first and second levels. There are 1,665 steps to the top but most people take the lift which currently costs around 25 euros. According to statistics, around 7 million people visit the tower each year. Around 50 tons of paint are added to the Eiffel Tower every seven years to protect it from rust, and there are 20,000 light bulbs used on the Eiffel Tower to make it sparkle every night. Being so popular, there are a number of other replicas around the world, including one in Las Vegas and one in Shenzhen, China. An American woman named Erica Labrie visited the tower in 2004 and literally fell in love with it. She married the Eiffel Tower in 2007 and changed her name to Erica Eiffel. She's the founder of an organization for people who have relationships with inanimate objects. A Sly Con artist named Victor Lustig attempted to sell the Eiffel Tower for a scrap metal in 1925. He tricked a number of scrap metal dealers into believing it would be available for purchase. He accepted offers and bribes from the dealers in cash and then fled to Vienna. The Eiffel Tower has become a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. It's definitely worth visiting once in a lifetime.
that's all for today folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, until next time, bye and have a nice day.